एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू सन इनोवेटिव यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दे आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो ऑन अ कॉम्पिटिशन मेथड सो लेट एस स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो वेरी फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू द वॉट इज अ कॉम्पिटिशन सो देर आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मैथड्स आर देर एज यू कैन सी इन डायग्राम देर इज अ नेचुरल कॉम्पिटिशन एंड फोर्स कॉम्पिटिशन and the further classification into the force competition that is divided to a b c d and the e so there are the five different type of classifications are there in a force competition so first of all uh, i will tell you what is a competition so it is a method to make the scr or the thyristor to turn off because when uh, there are the two type of sources are there one is ac supply and second is a dc supply so when the ac supply is given to the thyristor so naturally the thyristor got commutated it means uh, no additional component is required to make the thyristor turn off because uh, ac sinusoidal nature is almost the three times zero crossing in a one cycle so as you can assume the ac supply so you can see the first initially starting with the zero then it goes to the peak value then it goes to the zero value then negative value and then again the zero value so it is itself it becomes zero values so let us move to the first of all characteristic of thyristor so you will be understand that why it is required the zero values in a commutation so as you can see in a characteristic there are the two different uh, the condition is shows here so these two states are most important in a thyristor that is a holding current and latching current these two point are basic importance of the scr because these two states is shows that the minimum current which is required to make the thyristor turn on and the minimum minimum current is required to make the thyristor turn off so that's why it is important that when the anode current is less than the holding or the latching current so that's why according to this definition so you will be able to complete the turn of the thyristor so based on this concept we are going to design some circuit to make the turn off the scr so you will be understand that what is the commutation so here is a difference that uh, when you consider the ac supply so let's uh, so, uh, let tell you this uh, circuit about this one so you can see here this is the ac supply and uh, here the scr is connected series with the ac supply and one load is connected so as you can see in a graph here the ac supply have the natural zero values it means the voltage and current both values are goes to the zero value by naturally because nature of the sinusoidal it's itself it is a zero value at this three, three point here here and here like this way so in this point your scr or the anode current the current which is passing from the scr it becomes itself zero value below the holding and latching current so that's why that type the commutation is not required in this natural commutation because the ac supply is already having the zero values so that's why it is called the natural commutation so here it is a natural commutation now we need to discuss about this three and the five total classification a b c d and e so in this video i am going to tell you about the all the classification of the force commutation and uh, that videos are divided into the five uh, the five series so uh, you can wait for the next videos like b c d and e so in this video i am going to discuss about the class a commutation then in the next series i will be going to discuss about the b c d and the rest of the e commutation okay so let's start this video and uh, we are going to do the simulation as usual in matlab and uh, once again i am thank you to the all subscriber and the all viewers for showing the supports and loves so thank you very much again so let's start this video regarding the class a commutation okay now this is the simulation of class a commutation of thyristor so as you can see right hand side in a matlab simulation software so this is the ready made circuit which i have done before this simulation so now let us move to the theory first of all so this is the circuit and waveform explanation of commutation of class a so as you can see the first diagram that is a the resistance as a load is connected parallel with the capacitor and inductor and scr is connected series with the dc supply and uh, one more configuration is here the all three component l c and r that is a load resistance all are connected in a series with the scr with the uh, dc supply 
and uh, now focus to the waveform here so as you can see the first diagram that shows the gate current and uh, here first gate current shows the turn on of the SCR so when the gate pulse is given to the SCR so it start conducting from this direction and uh, this is the waveform for the capacitor across voltage so as I told you that once the gate pulse is given to the SCR so it start conducting in this direction so your ultimately capaci capacitor voltage is going to rise like this way because it is in under charging condition due to the conduction of the SCR through the this all series connection and uh, here it is a SCR current and the nature of SCR current is like this because uh, the inductor is connected series with the SCR so also the inductor having the charging property as the capacitor is have so the difference between is that the capacitor and the current which is having the 90 degree phase shifting as you can see here so the concept is why it is called the force commutation because we are making the SCR force turning off with the help of the additional component like capacitor and the inductor so it is called the resonant component because it uh, charge and discharge the value of voltage and current so the concept is when the capacitor is got fully charged in this case so it won't allow the maximum current or the more additional current through this circuit diagram so it means it it has to stop somewhere it has to compulsory become zero because of the fully charge of capacitor so this is the concept of resonant tank here so now we are designing the inductor and capacitor value in a such a way that it get at a specific time or the specific point of the commutation it means at that point your SCR is going to turn off so for understanding this concept so I would like to tell you that uh, the holding and latching current because the latching current it is a point it is minimum current which is required to make the SCR turn on and the holding current which is minimum current which is required to turn off the SCR so it means now I need to turn off this SCR so I need to make the anode current below the holding current then only it is possible to turn off the SCR and uh, when my anode current is having the maximum value greater than the latching current then my SCR is able to turn on so this concept it is uh, used to make the SCR turn and off so why the force commutation is required because the DC supply is connected and as we know that it uh, it won't be going to naturally commutate it because the DC supply uh, doesn't have the natural frequency like AC supply uh, that uh, automatically goes to zero values so these things is never going to happen with the DC supply so we need to design the additional component and the connect with the SCR so that anode current is forcefully become zero so that our SCR can turn off so thing is that uh, I, I will tell you later that what is the disadvantage and advantage of this commutation method so let us start first of all the simulation so you will be understand that complete uh, the operation of the commutation so according to the theory diagram I have used one DC supply and the thyristor, inductor, capacitor and resistor all three are connected in series so it is also called the, uh, the resonant component and uh, this is the thyristor and this is the gate pulse which I'm, I have designed for the particular frequency I will going to open and show you this diagram so you can see this so I have selected here the 2000 Hz frequency and the 50 percentage of duty cycle so I wanted the 50 percentage because I wanted to turn on the SCR for the 50 percentage and 50 percentage turn off and, uh, one more thing the current measurement is connected here so and the voltage I have selected for the 300 voltage you can see here and the inductor value I have chosen for the 5 milli henry and the for the capacitor 1 microfarade and uh, this is 100 ohm resistance and uh, I think you have the question that uh, how, I, how I have selected this LC and the R values so there is a, some process and the long process because uh, the as, as I told you that there is a particular and the specific point are there to make the turn of the SCR. So you will need to find out the Laplace transform of the circuit and uh, the conduction period of the SCR. So based on this value the uh, it will give you the point that uh, at which point your SCR is going to turn off because ultimately it depend on the value of inductor and capacitor. 
so once you have chosen the value of inductor capacitor so automatically it works on a resonant frequency and according to the resonant frequency the scr is going to turn off so that is a very complex uh, system is there so it is impossible to explain the whole thing in a uh, this uh, 10 to 20 minutes of video so yeah, if you guys you have the questions regarding the lcr design so please write in a comment that uh, what part makes you confuse and how to design this uh, this circuit so because i am going to run the full series of the class a b c d and e so i don't have time to explain much more thing in uh, to, through the video so please write a comment so i will be going to explain you that how to design the lcr and uh, now it is time to run the simulation so i am going to run the simulation okay so let me open this result so here you can see the first red line that is a 300 line so this is the input voltage dc and uh, second that is a yellow line so this is the gate pulse and uh, i given the 50 percentage duty cycle so here is a 50 percentage on period and 50 percentage off period and uh, this is the output voltage again red line so and the last one that is output current so as you can see the ones the gate pulse is given here so it uh, output voltage is going to rise like this way because the scr is turned on and i already told you in a theory uh, my laptop have the low battery uh, i need to connect my charger wait uh, sorry for the disturbance okay now it is connected so let me show you again this theory okay so this is a theory so you see here the SCR current is behave like this way. So obviously the voltage across resistance will be also behave like this because uh, always the resistance have the in phase characteristic. So talking about the uh, the output voltage like this way because it steps behave like this way because it is kind of sinusoidal. So it is due to the inductor and capacitor which is connected series with the SCR. so as i have also seen uh, shown in the theory part that i iscr the current which is passing from the scr it behaves like this way and uh, the this point at the one moment and i can also say the one the capacitor is get fully charged so now the capacitor have the sufficient voltage which is greater than the inductor voltage oh, sorry the, for the input voltage because of the voltage across inductor and voltage across capacitor will be uh, become a huge voltage compared to the input voltage so that uh, the capacitor volt have the sufficient energy to make or the forcefully stop the anode current which is passing from the scr so this is the concept which i have used here in this theory so let me open this simulation here and uh, to show you these things so at this point you can see my forcefully commutation is happened when the gate pulse is removed so i wanted that my scr should be turned off so i have selected according to the value of lcr so when my gate pulse is removed so my scr should be turned off i have designed the lcr values for this particular it doesn't mean that it compulsory has to stop at this point because it depend upon the value of lcr if i have selected the different values so this point is somewhere here or the somewhere uh, the different values it is depend upon the value of lcr it doesn't mean that i have removed the gate pulse from the scr so it got stop it is nothing like that because i have selected that value for the particular lcr so that's why it is stopped at this point okay and uh, the current is shape is also same because i have taken the the voltage across the resistance and the current so that's why uh, this is the point at which you can see the minimum current which is less than the holding current that's why the scr got stopped and uh, the additional component i have used here inductor capacitor and we are making the force fully so that's why it is called the commutation force commutation and uh, the disadvantage of this technique it is uh, the lcr resonance is there so sometimes uh, resonance problem will be there and uh, for the higher voltage you need to select the higher inductor and capacitor value so the cost is also going to increases and uh, one more thing it is also called the self commutated circuit because uh, load itself which is used to commutate the scr and uh, the basic application of this commutation that is a inverter single phase inverter which is used by the thyristor 
and uh, that time you need to select the LCR as a load so you will be able to commute the the high resistor which is connected with the inverter and uh, one more disadvantage of this circuit that is uh, uh, the capacitor discharge path is not provided so you need to compulsory use one more uh, more than two switch or more than three switches because here in this circuit you can see once the capacitor got fully charged so there is no path because one it is got completely discharged and uh, the uh, sorry not the discharge completely turned off so where the capacitor should discharge so there is a no path for the discharging of capacitor here so uh, the purely class a competition which is no doesn't have the any uh, the separate or the individual application so it is compulsory used in a inverter so this is the all about the class a commutation and uh, if you guys have the question please write in a comment because it means a lot for us because uh, when you have the question so it is a communication and we can share the knowledge this is the way of sun innovative to communicate with the subscriber and uh, one more thing please like this video if you if you learn something up from this simulation and it helps us Uh, more and uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, wait for the class B class C and the rest of the commutation circuit because i am going to upload that video also very soon so try this commutation in your circuit and if you are using the thyristor in your circuit somewhere in some project so you can use this component and you can try this simulation at the different value of the uh, pulse and different value of the resonant point so it will help you to the commutate this yeah thank you guys thank you very much